Cheeky Richo's Pork Masala. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Pork Masala. Today we will be taking luscious pork fillets, frying them in butter and then making a rich masala cream sauce. This is a truly decadent dish and I'm sure that you will enjoy. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. Now let's get started. For our pan on a high heat we are going to add our butter, melt it off and then add our pork fillets. Okay, in with our pork fillets. Okay, after about three minutes, our meat is cooked halfway up. So we're going to just turn it over and cook the other side. Okay, after about five minutes, our pork is nicely cooked and tender. We're going to put it to one side to rest while we make our sauce. So just cover that to keep it warm and stand it somewhere. Okay, into a pan is our pork stock. Turn that down a bit. Our pepper. You want to reduce this down. The best way to do that is over the heat. So this is pork stock that's been prepared earlier that has had the fat removed from it. So it's actually deglazing the pan as well. A bit more heat, we need a bit more sizzle action happening. Okay. In with some of our masala, we can always add more later because it's quite a strong liqueur or fortified wine. And then in with our cream. And we just want to heat that now. You could strain this or blitz it if you wanted to, but I've got no problem with the little chunks in it. They just add a bit of flavour, and they're pieces of pork anyway. This is smelling pretty good. Now because this pork stock was from a roasted pork, the crackling was rubbed with salt. So there is a fair chance that there is a bit of salt in this stock. And rather than overload ourselves with salt, we're going to test it and adjust the seasoning seasonings accordingly. That's why I haven't salted it prior to this. If you're using stock that doesn't have any salt in it, you probably would have added salt prior to this point. Let's get a pot. Just be careful here. It needs a bit of salt. Just a little. But no more masala. There's plenty there. So that's just a pinch of veggie salt going in now. And you could just drop a little knob of butter in to gloss the last finish of it and that is going to be absolutely delicious. I bet you wish you could smell this. That's it. Off with the heat and it's time to plate up. Okay some steamed corn, some steamed pink eyed potatoes, some grilled zucchini and dinner is ready to eat. Some of our masala sauce and there you have it. Cheeky Richo's pork masala. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, please check out my Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, a recipe suggestion or perhaps an idea you'd like to share. Do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Let's try, shall we? It's pretty tender. There you go. Mm, yum.